Hi folks, today we're gonna add smoke to this building. Hi, my name is Dyson. We have this building already simulated by the RBD solver and let's file catch this bad boy. So for interesting look, we're not gonna add smoke to whole building. We're gonna select our small pieces with high velocity or high speed and we're gonna add smoke to it. So as you see, we have different size pieces and let's measure that with measure node here and let's change that to pair pieces here and we have already name attributes contain our pieces here let's select that and attribute out will, will be size for more convenient way so size and let's see now we have size attribute let me create delete node here and let's do it by expression here and we're gonna type at sign our attribute name will be size here and we're gonna delete every large pieces okay we have small pieces here let's enable velocity obviously some pieces have high speed as you can see now let's measure the vector velocity so for that let's put attribute triangle here and let's create float variable and let's name it len so for that let's have length function here and let's feed the vector uh, sorry the velocity here and now let's see the spreadsheet okay we have len attribute contained the length of velocity so let's put delete here and let's change that to expression change that to point and let's type our len attribute and we're gonna delete every pieces with no velocity or no speed here as you see we have now pieces with velocity and for helping our channel to grow please subscribe for more content thanks now let's set up our pyrosol first we need pyro source here and let's initialize smoke now we need volume rasterize attribute let's create one here and we're gonna rasterize density velocity and temperature okay we have initial smoke here nice now let's create pyro solver okay and let's initialize smoke here and let's see that okay for now and we're gonna fix that later on and we're gonna merge that to see what we have here okay that's our building this the smoke is uh, have uh, high speed we're gonna uh, fix that later on and now let's link our voxel size to this and pyro source here that's cool and let's crank this down and let's see we have more resolution smoke here okay let's create ground here i'm gonna use box and let's create vdb from polygon okay let me resize that first okay that will be cool let's connect that here and let's connect to second input of the pyro let's go to collision here change that to sdf and select our field surface field nice let's play that and as you can see we need to adjust the size here
okay as you can see the problem is gone and our smoke is hitting our ground here okay the interesting part is here let's add our building velocity our pieces velocity to pyro solver here let's merge here and let's connect that to here and let's create volume rasterize attribute again and now we're gonna rasterize just the velocity here let's see the velocity let's shrink this down okay and in the collision section we're gonna select velocity and we're gonna and we have velocity field as you see okay for adjusting the look of the smoke we're gonna go to shape tab here let's decrease buoyancy it's responsible for speed of the smoke disturbance will add small noises turbulence will add large noises to movement of the smoke and shredding will add small noises to the smoke look as you can see okay as you can see our smoke is disappearing too fast let's go to field here and we'll decrease dissipation and let's see that okay and that's the final look as you can see and i am pretty happy with it and let's render that with arnold and that will be so awesome okay guys that's it see ya